Hey guys, welcome back. So this is part three of my series on becoming a more effective learner. If you haven't watched part one and two, I would suggest watching those videos first to get the most out of this video. So without further delay, let's get into it. Today we're going to discuss a concept called spaced repetition. Now, spaced repetition, like the word suggests, is spacing your study of particular subjects over a period of time. So let's talk about the evidence behind spaced repetition and why it actually works. While doing some research about memory retention, I came up on the idea of the forgetting curve by Herman Ebbinghaus. You can read the full hypothesis using the link in the description below, but essentially the forgetting curve hypothesizes the decline of memory over time. This curve shows how information is lost over time when there's no attempt to recall or retain it. Now, a typical graph of the forgetting curve shows that humans tend to have their memory of newly learned information in a matter of days or weeks unless they consciously review the material. Ebbinghaus hypothesized that the speed of forgetting depends on a number of factors such as the difficulty of the material learned, how meaningful the material is to the learner, its representation in memory, and other psychological factors such as stress and sleep. He also went on to say that each repetition in learning the same material increases the optimal interval before the next repetition is needed, and the forgetting curve was also flattened with every repetition. He further hypothesized that the basal forgetting rate differs very little between individuals and that the difference in performance between individuals could be explained by mnemonic representation. So to summarize, this research shows that learning can be enhanced with repetitive study based on active recall methods and better memory representation with aids such as mnemonics. So this is actually great. It essentially says that if you take a classroom full of students, all of them are capable of learning and remembering. There are no incapable students. It's just that ones who do poorly have not learned to transfer knowledge from short-term memory into long-term memory, or they haven't learned to represent knowledge in a meaningful way in their brain so that they can recall it later. Now, in part four of the series, I'll talk more about how we can use mnemonics to aid in memorization. Now, if you're getting some value from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. So let's move on to incorporating spaced repetition into our own study. So the best way I found to incorporate spaced repetition and active recall into my study routine was to use Anki flashcards. While reading lecture slides or class notes, I would think up of questions and put them into Anki. I briefly talked about Anki on part two of this series. So for example, say I was on day one of a four hour study session. I would spend three hours reviewing class notes and lecture slides and come up with questions that I would enter into Anki. As mentioned in part two of this series, this would be the review step of the re active recall method. The last hour, I would shuffle my Anki flashcard deck and try to answer the questions I created for myself. This is the active recall step. If I got the answer correct, I would mark it as correct and move on. If I got the answer wrong or partially correct, I would review the correct answer, mark the flashcard as incorrect and move on to the next question. Eventually, Anki would start only presenting cards that I marked as incorrect. That would be my day one routine. On day two, again, say I had four hours to study, I would start by reviewing the Anki flashcards that I created on day one. Anki again would only present new cards or cards that I marked as incorrect. Then after the first hour, I would move on to reviewing new material and creating new Anki flashcards. My last hour again would be going through flashcards and using the active recall method. So as you can see, this is a simple study routine using active recall and spaced repetition. Both techniques have been proven to get you the results you want. Now on our next session, I'll be talking about mnemonics as an aid to improving your memory and recall. Be sure to tune in. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.